Thanks for staying with us. A couple who found a message in a bottle written in the 80s finally found the person who wrote it. Our Maria DeBone joins us live in studio with this almost four decade story and how a man living in North Carolina bought, brought it all together. Maria. Hey, Louie. Yeah, Sheila and Teban Piles were doing their yearly neighborhood cleanup in South Jacksonville, Florida last February when they came across this old bottle that said, look inside. On the inside, they found a note from a Ron Clark from Texas, so they set out to find him. We were all hooting and hollering. I said, check this out, Jim. I got an actual message in a bottle, man. And it was like, holy cow. Teban Piles went home to show his wife, Sheila, and open it up. The message inside read, if you are the person that found this bottle, please send a note to Ron Clark. And it included a Texas address. Based on the handwriting, we thought it was a child. And the bottle was aged, we thought, around the 80s. And so when I went on Facebook, because I was like, if it was a child, they probably don't live at that address anymore. I don't know that I want to send a letter. The Piles did months of research and messaged several Ron Clarks, but got nowhere. It wasn't until a few weeks ago that they found a Ron Clark that used to live in Texas, but now lives in Mebbin, North Carolina. So Sheila put a post in Mebbin's community Facebook group with the letter and bottle hoping the Ron Clark who wrote the letter or someone who knew him would see it. My stepmom, uh, Deborah, um, she reached out and uh, was like, hey, is this you? Turns out Ron Clark Sr. lives in Mebbin, and his son, also Ron Clark, lives in Texas. I kind of looked at the letter and everything else, and I'm like, wow, okay, this, this, this is my handwriting. And unfortunately, my handwriting hasn't gotten any better since I was 10 or 11, but um, yeah, I mean, it was no doubt it was me. Ron Clark, now 39, said he was at his grandparents' home in Florida when he threw the note in a bottle in the St. John's River, right where the piles live now. I thought I was going to get something from, you know, Argentina uh, in a letter form and, uh, you know, something miraculous within, you know, five years. But, yeah, it's something to be found you know, 39 years later. And the piles saying they all think it was for a reason. Their nephew died years ago, and to honor him, their family threw a message in a bottle with his dog tags in it. You know, what is it that's being communicated here? And I'm not spooky, weird, but it's just, there's always things where things show up like that. And it was just out of all the people in the swamp that day, I find the message in the bottle. And the pile said they now plan to send the bottle to Ron and his family in Texas. In studio, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News.